Unit pricing is simply the price per unit of weight, volume, or amount of an item. In Canada, weight is generally calculated by grams or kilograms, sometimes in pounds, whereas volume is generally calculated in milliliters or liters. In Canada, Quebec is the only province that has the law that the unit price for any given item must be marked on the price ticket. Every other province in Canada is doing this just on a voluntary practice. Though more often than not, you can find the unit price at a grocery store located in the bottom right corner of the price ticket. However, what if there was no unit price listed? This is where you will need to be able to calculate it for yourself. To do this, you will need to divide the cost, so the price of your item, by the quantity, either the weight or volume or the amount of the item. Let's look at some examples. Let's say you're buying two liters of milk that costs $3.80. We would divide the cost, $3.80, by the quantity, two liters. So 3.8 divided by two would give us 1.9. So the cost per one unit, so one liter in this case, of milk would be $1.90. Here's another example where the quantity is by weight. Let's say you're buying 4.5 pounds of ground turkey, which costs $31.50. So we would divide our cost, $31.50, by the quantity, 4.5 pounds. So 31.5 divided by 4.5 equals 7. So the cost per one unit, in this case one pound of ground turkey, is $7. Here's one last example, where the quantity is by amount. Let's say you're buying 10 pencils, which cost $2.75. So we would divide the cost of $2.75 by the quantity, 10. 2.75 divided by 10 equals 0 0.275. So the cost per one unit, in this case one pencil, would be about 28 cents. It's also important to learn how to calculate a cost comparison. This is where we look at two different products and determine the best value, which saves you money. We can do this by comparing the unit prices. That's why it's so important to know how to calculate it. Let's do an example. Let's say you're buying some toilet paper and you want to know which brand is the best to buy. Soft Tushy brand toilet paper cost $17.50 for 24 rolls, whereas Bear Bum brand cost $8.75 for 10 rolls. We have to work out the unit cost for each brand of toilet paper in order to compare. So let's start with Soft Tushy brand. We would divide the cost, $17.50, by the quantity, 24 rolls. So $17.50 divided by 24 equals 73 cents. So each roll of Soft Tushy brand toilet paper costs 73 cents. Now let's calculate it for the Bare Bum brand. We would divide the cost of $8.75 by the quantity, 10 rolls. So $8.75 divided by 10 equals 88 cents. So one roll of the Bear Bum brand costs 88 cents. So the cost per unit is 88 cents per roll of Bear Bum brand. Therefore, we know that the Soft Tushy brand toilet paper is the better deal. When doing cost comparisons, you may also have to do conversions of the quantities, as the unit of measurement, whether it's the weight or the volume or the amount, has to be the same to be able to compare two or more items. For example, you can't compare an item weighed in grams to an item weighed in kilograms, or an item measured in liters to an item measured in milliliters. So let's look at an example where we would have to do a conversion first. Let's say you're looking at the cost of Mountain Dew. A 2.75 liter bottle costs $2.53, whereas a 573 milliliter bottle of Mountain Dew only costs 85 cents. Which is the better buy? We have to convert the quantities so that they're the same unit of measurement first. For this example, we will convert the milliliters to liters, but we could also convert the liters to milliliters. There are a thousand milliliters in a liter. Therefore, we must divide the 573 milliliters by a thousand to find out how many liters are in the small bottle of Mountain Dew. 
So 573 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.573. Therefore, there is 0 0.573 liters in the 573 milliliter bottle of Mountain Dew. We can now compare the prices. First, for the 2.75 liter bottle of Mountain Dew, we would divide its cost of $2.53 by the quantity of 2.75 liters. So 2.53 divided by 2.75 equals 92 cents. So it's 92 cents for one liter. Next, let's do the calculation for the 0 0.573 bottle of Mountain Dew. So we would divide its cost of 85 cents by its quantity of 0 0.573 liters. So 0 0.85 divided by 0 0.573 equals $1.48. So its unit cost per one liter is $1.48. That's a lot more expensive than the 92 cents per liter if you buy the bigger bottle. Unit pricing is an effective way to put your math skills to good use and save you money. A Canadian study found that over 40% of the population reported that they use unit pricing and find it an effective tool when they're doing their shopping. Unit pricing is how places like Costco or Sam's Club work. You pay more upfront for a bigger quantity, but you pay less overall per unit or per, per volume. Of course, a cheaper unit price doesn't speak to the quality of the item you are buying, but it's a very helpful tool in making informed purchasing decisions.